so Pete, compared to prior uh, uh, flares of, of the pandemic, we have an important new tool now. There's a new FDA authorized medication called Paxlovid um, that just uh, became available. Can you tell us a little bit about it and which patients should consider getting it? Sure. Well, first of all, I, I think it's uh, most important to say off the bat that for the for, see, for for the next few weeks, maybe even the next few months, access to these pills are going to be extremely limited. But that means that for right now, we should be using this at the for our most highest risk uh, um, uh, patients. So, um, but l l let's now talk about uh, what's what this is because in a few months, it's going to help us revolutionize the treatment of of uh, COVID. Basically, uh, the pill is two different medications, um, and at the core, at, at the core, is a mechanism to stop viral replication. So it basically gets in there in a way that jams the machinery, the engine really, of the novel coronavirus. And this, uh, by jamming the machinery, what's really exciting about this type of medication is that it's machinery that we don't have in our normal cells. So it's something that the virus has, we don't have, and it jams the system, stops replication. That's the idea. Um, and uh, it, it's very exciting because on initial uh, preliminary, uh, initial study, which seems to be robust, although I need to let you know that we haven't, the, the full report has not been released to the public. We just have summaries. The FDA has received the full report, but it looks very promising. Thousands of patients randomized, dramatic reduction in hospitalizations and deaths for people that are started on these pills early enough. And I think it's fair to say, Peter, you and I are on the conservative side with new medications. We, we tend to have a cautious approach. This is one of those situations where we're certainly in, encouraged. With that said, do you think everybody with a mild COVID infection should get it? No, especially right now, um, Mike, I really think we should be limiting this to the very, um, the very highest risk um, uh, people. But the NIH has set up a, a, a system, a level, a tier system to identify if you only have a few of these dosages, who should be getting it. And I'll just tell you about the top tier. And that the top tier are the ones probably, we probably don't even have enough to, to cover the top tier right now in, in every state. But basically the top tier would be someone who's at very high risk for serious disease from COVID and is either not vaccinated or they have profound immunodeficiency such that the vaccine isn't thought to have created real immunity uh, uh, protection from serious illness. Those are the only people right now that I'd recommend getting um, uh, this new combination pill because of limited su supplies. Later, we can kind of um, expand that to uh, more people.